Hey guys, this is Caspi with Tape, and today I'm doing a little tutorial which I get asked to do a lot. A lot of people seem to ask me how to make the BD Armory turrets. Whenever I do a BD Armory video where I attack um, something that has turrets, basically the things that shoot back at me usually while I'm flying a plane of some kind, um, they ask me how I set that up uh, to make it shoot back at me, and that's what this is. I'm doing a few little tutorial videos because they don't take long to put together and I don't have any time for the next two weeks, so I thought this would be a good thing to do. Um, I hate explaining these in comments because I hate explaining things through text. I literally can't do it. So yeah, um, obviously we're just going to go into the BAB. doesn't really matter where you build it. Um, we'll call this turret. Uh, obviously you're going to need fairly standard control systems, so obviously a probe. Um, okay, apparently I've already made one of these, but that's fine. I usually, for my base, um, pick a fuel tank just because it's, it's pretty sturdy, it's heavy, it gives a good base of something, I don't know. And then when just something to hold it up, so obviously like landing legs. Where are my landing legs? They are here. Nope, not gear. I don't want it moving. That's what I will be doing when it's shooting at me. Um, obviously probes and guns need power, so some batteries and some RTGs should provide that, just so it doesn't run out and it will kill. <clears throat> will continue to kill you. Alright, so the next things you're going to need are some weapons. All the BD Armory weapons and stuff can be found in the utility menu. I'm going to go with the biggest, baddest gun because, well, you need to select a gun and why not go with the biggest, baddest one. Um, this is just basically does like 360, de <clears throat> 360 degrees and can shoot basically everything anywhere. Uh, the next thing we'll need to do is find out what ammo it takes. Um, this take is a 7 barrel 30mm rot rotary cannon with full swivel range, so it needs 30mm ammo. All of them tell you what they need, like this one is a 50 cal turret. You can see in the description it says 50 cal. Um, I think there's some 20 mils that'll just tell you they use 20 mil ammo. Uh, yeah, there, here we go. Uh, 20 mil, yeah, a 6 barrel 20 by 102mm rotary cannon, so that's 20 mil. Um, so yeah, we'll get some 30mm ammo, we'll just throw on 4 for good measure. And how do we make the shooters? Because right now this is a functional turret, we could, you know, we could right click this and use it ourselves and shoot stuff, but it won't shoot back. So the weapon, the weapon, no, the part we need is the weapon manager, which is this part, it's called weapon manager, very simple. So we throw that on there, and that is now a functioning turret. We'll throw that on the launch pad, and then we'll just demonstrate that it works, because you need to believe me, because if you don't, then, uh, well then this video goes to hell. <laughs> I will be doing a few of these tutorials. Um, I know I'm going to do one on setting up dogfights because it's a little more difficult. Not really, but um, I imagine it could be confusing. Uh, if you can think of anything else you'd like to know in KSP or BD Armory, I will pro you can leave it in the comments and I will probably try and get around to it. Um, so yeah, this cannon's pretty good. It can pretty much just kill a building. I mean... Okay, yeah, there we go. Pretty good cannon. It can kill a building. So, it's prepped for everything I need. Right. So, to set it up as a turret, there's this helpful BD Armory tab up here. Um, so, we don't need to see the weapon list, actually. Uh, we'll just so, um, select guard mode, so just turn guard mode on. I would put field of view up to um, 360 degrees, so it will shoot in any direction, anywhere you are. And um, But obviously, if you just wanted it to do this cone, like uh, 180 degrees, you just set it to 180, and then it won't shoot behind it. Um, and then guard range you can just put up to 5 kilometers because that'll shoot you from as far away as possible because it um, changes the load range and care speed to 5 kilometers and you can actually change the load range to custom by hitting alt B and then you can change loads of stuff there but don't worry about that for now so guard mode is actually really smart so if you would throw a second gun on here it would take that into account and it would use that as well. If you put missiles on here, which are very simple, you just grab missiles and attach them to the surface. Um, I find it useful to put them on like um, a structural part so they're further away from it, so they don't accidentally blow up your own um, craft. But uh, be the single weapon manager will cycle through them, it'll use its guns, and it'll use missiles, it'll just do it all fine. So you basically, um, you can put as many weapons on here as you want, pretty much obviously within reason and then throw a weapon manager on there and do this and it will now be a turret and I will demonstrate that right now just quick save so yeah it's as simple as that you put your you build your turret with its missiles and its guns and all that and then you just put a BD, you put a BD armory weapon manager on there and uh, it'll it'll shoot as long as the planes and anything you're f flying at it also have a weapon manager and are set to team B um, because I've set that to Team A, this will be on Team B, but if you were to set the turret to Team B, you could set your plane to Team A, um, and it would shoot that. So basically, they shoot opposite teams once you've set them up in the way I just described. And it's really simple, so obviously you can just put on a bunch of 
missiles and stuff, and it'll control them as well, just like that. But I'm not going to put any missiles on this, because it's not really that important um, for this plane. We just need one weapon manager, so that it knows it's an enemy. Yeah, it's really simple to do this, and it is a lot of fun. Um, it's Because KSP is quite a good engine for other game-type things, it is actually a really good war games engine um, game, because, uh, well, you can... Uh, build stuff that'll just like fall apart so you like you can use lots of structural parts so you can see in the same BD armory tab I set this to team B and now it's uh, now it's my enemy so we'll take off and it should start shooting me pretty soon um, I'll try go vertical is it gonna shoot me I hope it is unless I set it to team B did I do that oh no there we go <laughs> no I did not um, and it will basically shoot me until I'm no longer a threat um, Actually, a little bit after, the once the weapon manager's gone away, usually it's not a problem. Uh, quickly, flip forward, there's no time! Bail! Oh, well, he's dead. But yeah, that's how you do it. You just literally um, put all your weapons on in whatever array you want and all that stuff. You can put missiles and guns, as I said. And then just go to guard mode in the BD Armory tab that you can get up here and select guard mode and set your field of view and guard range and that is it that'll be now a turret you can put as many of these out as you want and if you set them all to the same team they'll fight together or if you want to see something funny you can set them all to team different teams and they'll you know fight each other not or you know whatever um, I'm gonna need a new tracking station now aren't I god damn anyway um, I hope you've enjoyed this I hope it's been helpful and informative and I hope that uh, well, if you have any other, you know, tutorials you want in KSP, just generally, or BD Armory, just leave them in the comments. I'll try to do them. I am quite busy, as I've said, hence me doing simple, easy videos. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been KSP with Tape. I will see you next time.